everyone. This is Joseph with JN Unique Designs. I'm back with you today in creating a fun card. I was asked to make this video um, by a good friend of mine uh, who is over at Honeybee Stamps. And so I will be creating some peonies using the Honeybee Stamps today. Uh, first off, the die cuts um, already come, already pre-made. Uh, so this is basically what the card that we'll be making today, but I'm gonna color it myself and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. This is a very fun and easy, simple card to make. Florals in itself. The die set is, um, let me see if I can get it here. This is what the dies look like. I just wanted to show that to you from Honey Bee Stamps. Uh, we'll work with any of the major die cutting machines. So uh, very simple process. Let's get right to it. I've already cut the pieces and uh, let's have some fun. I'm gonna show you some of the techniques that I've used. Um, I'm gonna pull out a piece of release sheet that I have from some stickers that I've used earlier. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Distress Oxide Fossilized Amber to start coloring. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the Fossilized Amber and I'm not gonna cover the color the entire flower. I'm just gonna color bits and pieces of it just to give it a little bit of sh uh, shading. Um, you know, I'm just gonna leave a little bit of yellow there. You know, I'm not gonna go all the way to the edge, but I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna do that. So that's all I'm gonna do for that piece. Same thing with the next piece. Get some fossilized amber there and I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna just kind of brush up to the top here. Just kind of see what it looks like. Um, I have a, a coloring technique that, this is my coloring technique that I like to do. I don't like to color everything the, on the flowers. So I'm gonna go through here and again, I'm gonna go close to the edge, but I'm not gonna go all the way out to the edge, just to give it an illusion that this um, the yellow is on the tip of the flower. So I'm gonna do this, and to continue through this. Hope everybody's having a good day, and if you haven't already, please do like and subscribe to my videos. Um, I am a uh, floral, and I like to design cards, I like to design art pieces. Um, I welcome you to my channel. I do a lot with uh, a lot of different companies, a lot of different products. So uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Please like this video and subscribe. If you have any questions at all, um, please comment on this video and I will be more than happy to get back to you. So you can see it doesn't take very long once you die cut everything. Um, I. Uh, I have a different take that I use on when I'm making these these things that I and most people have never seen or my taste of it actually. So everybody has their own taste and please feel free to use this technique. Please feel free to do what you feel like you'd want to do with it. Um, so each the reason why I know which one is the, the way the bottom is is because I've already put one of these together and I know that uh, there is a coloring guide that comes with the, the uh, this floral. So you don't have to worry. If you know, it'll show you where to line up and how to line it up and all of that. So you don't have to worry and it takes all the guesswork out of it. But since I've already done this, I know which side is the bottom and I know which side is the top. So that's why I'm pretty comfortable coloring these like this. I am also on social media on Elizabeth Craft Designs website. I am also on, uh, so, if you're watching this video now, I am on YouTube on uh, um, my channel I'm at uh, jnuniquedesigns.com or jnuniquedesigns for Facebook. And uh, I am trying to get my social media up and running all over the place. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Shady Lane VersaFine Claire. And I believe that we just had a power outage, so I apologize about the light going out there. So, let's see here. We did have a power outage, so I hope, uh, let me see what, the, let's see, I'm going to color this in. Cover that in as such. 
We now have power. There we go. The light's back on. So I apologize for that brief moment there. Um, but I used VersaFine Clear Shady Lanes. I mean, I used a uh, finger dauber, and I just uh, went ahead and just daubed that up with color. Nothing really. Um, and I did the same thing with the leaves here. What I did with the leaves is I took one of these finger daubers, and I pounced some color just around the edge um, inwards, as you can see, leaving the white uh, there. So that's how you get that design. On some of these ones, what I did was I just used the finger dauber, and I just went down the center. I just pounced. I didn't have any specific coloring. That way you can still see the veins of the leaves on there. Okay, so there's that. I'm gonna set this aside. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take <clears throat> these pieces. And I'm gonna start lining them up. By lining them up, I can see if the yellow is starting to show through, which it does, which is pretty. It does show through. So I'm gonna take, this is the first piece, the first base here. I'm gonna take some foam dots and I'm just gonna, I use about four foam dots per flower. You know, it doesn't take very much, but I use about four or so. And these are just very generic foam dots that I have in my stash. I have a, and I'll do this. As you can see, the foam dots are on the back. And I'll do this, I'll place this right over here to the edge. And I will press it down as such. I'll take some more, foam. I'll take the next piece. Again, if you're intimidated by this, don't be. It's, it is it is a very easy project to do. It is a very easy, um, there's a guide, which I will grab here and I can show you. There is a guide that comes with the dies that shows you uh, which layer is which and how to line it up. Um, it's, it's not very hard to see from an angle how it lines up because the pieces fall right on top of each other. So you see, I'll take the next piece. Add some more foam dots here. And this one, as it gets smaller, I'll just use three foam dots rather than uh, more. So I'll do this. Yeah, there we go. Take, uh, take the next piece. The um, What I've learned with this particular set is that the more veins that you see on the die, that is the um, most upper layer of the floral. That's what I've noticed. So as you start building your flowers, you'll start seeing the veins on the flower itself. And by looking at the veins, you can tell um, how many, uh, where, how closer to the top they are to for you. So, it's okay. It's very hard to line things up when you're sitting out at a distance and not being able to lean into the camera just because I, I have the camera right there. I really do hope that you join me in uh, creating these. And uh, if you want to try to uh, make this, please reach out to me, Ma send me a message, and I will be more than happy to try to accommodate you and help you out with that and getting a set made. So this is the only time that I've ever been confused with this floral is I gotta figure out which one is the bottom layer. And as you can see, when I layer the top here, you can see the bottom layer sticking out. That's how that one is. So I know for a fact that's the top layer of that one. So I just use one of these pieces for that. Reach out to me and I will be more than happy to try to uh, get you a sample or something like that just to answer any questions for you. As you can tell, I do like doing this. I do like crafting. And with that piece, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a pair of scissors and I'm gonna cut my square foam dot here in half so I can use two pieces, or one piece, but in two places rather than um, one big piece because it's a little big. So I'll do that. Set this hair right on top. And I'll set, do the same thing with another piece here. I will take my pair of scissors, cut that in half. there and put that there as such and 
there's very little to no shaping required of these cards. That's what makes it the beauty of it. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some glue and I'm going to glue this last petal or this leaf hair on. I'm using a needle nose um, bottle here with Lineco pH glue. I like this glue a lot because it it sticks very well and it does not run and it dries clear and uh, I just like the, the glue bottle in itself. So if you need any information, please uh, reach out to me and I'll be more than happy to help out. As I mentioned previously, uh, I'm here for the community, so I'm not not uh, not willing. I am very willing to help you and your um, crafting needs. So let's put that on there. Perfect. So we have a peony bud and a peony flower. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my ATC gun. I've already uh, pre-cut some pieces with that and uh, started that process. I have um, a three and a half by seven and a half piece here, which is a seven by seven and a half square as my cardstock. And what I've done is I've already cut the layered pieces. The inside, if you look at um, the inside here, is just a regular square. And my ATC gun decided that it's not going to work today. So, give me a second to fix how easy this is. I'll just roll that up. There we go. And let's try that again. There we go. Put some glue there. Sometimes I always blame technology, uh, but sometimes crafting stuff doesn't always work either. So, I don't. Uh, I just place that right in the middle here. Now you have an internal panel, another piece. I will take a piece of Moda scrap paper. Um, this is paper that was uh, created by Elizabeth Craft Designs um, a while ago, and I just had some paper in my stash. As I am a designer um, on the Elizabeth Craft Designs uh, page, so um, that's where I got this from. But that goes on the gold. See, I was just about to mess up. That goes on the gold. And then the gold. Uh, this paper, this gold paper, is something that I got at, uh, I think it's Hobby Lobby. So, nothing fancy, you know. Many of you have preferences when you're shopping, such as um, Hobby Lobby or Michaels or Joann's or online. Um, I believe in shopping local. So, if you have a local craft store in your area, please try them first. And if you can't find what you're looking for in the local area, then um, by all means, try a big box store. Um, I just had a very negative experience over at my local uh, big box store. So I mentioned that I won't be uh, heading that way much uh, in the near future until they figure out what they're gonna do. Um, and if anybody's asking what it is, it's actually Michael's had a very, very negative experience over there. So I will not be going back to Michael's anytime soon in the near future. Uh, so I'm sorry to say that, but uh, I will do this. Line that up here. We'll put that down. I'm going to put probably the bud coming out there. But shop local. Shop your local stores. They're always around. You know, I, uh, you know, it's family business and stuff like that. And let's, let's try to make a difference in their lives too. So I'm going to do, no, I don't like it that way. I like it this way. So let's do that. Let's place this flower. I'm using wet glue because it's easily posi positionable. I'll do that. I'm gonna place some uh, clear gems. I'll click put there, there, and maybe there. Um, I gotta get some uh, clear gems that I've had in my stash, and I'll show you what I mean. 
I just put three drops of glue on my card there. And this is my box of clear gems that I've used um, in the previous. So I'm gonna use some yellow. Take some yellow out. Set this aside. Take my tweezers and flip this over. The tweezers, and I'm not just gonna drop it right on the glue. Literally, that's what I'm gonna do. Flip those over just so they're easy to grab. As I say easy to grab, it's not being very easy. Put that there. That one. Put that one there. There we go. And that just fills it up a little bit. Just covers up the empty space. Um, I think that will do it for today. I hope everyone enjoyed that. Um, and uh, you can place whatever sentiment you want. Uh, I believe this sentiment is from Alta New that I put together, but uh, look how easy and fun those cards are. So I welcome you to please like and subscribe to my channel for more fun videos. I know that uh, you've probably seen the tulips that I've made from Honey Bee previously. So these are the cards that I have in my stash that I've made from Honey Bee. So uh, like I said, please like and subscribe to my video for more fun videos in the future. And uh, have a great day, everyone. Thank you.